Terah took Abram his son. And Lot, the son of Haran, his son's son. And Sarai, his daughter-in-law, his son Abram's wife. And they went forth with them from Ur of the Chaldees to go into the land of Canaan. And they came unto Haran and dwelt there. of Terah were 205 years, and Terah died in Haran. Now the Lord had said unto Abram, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, unto a land that I will show thee. And I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee, and make thy name great and thou shalt be a blessing. And I will bless them that bless thee, and curse him that curseth thee. And in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. So Abram departed, as the Lord had spoken unto him. And Abram was seventy and five years old. And Abram passed through the land unto the place of Sychem, unto the plain of Mori. And the Canaanite was then in the land. give this land. And he removed from thence unto a mountain on the east of Bethel, and pitched his tent, having Bethel on the west and Hai on the east. And there he builded an altar unto the Lord, and called upon the name of the Lord. toward the south.
and Abram went down into Egypt to sojourn there. to pass when he was come near to enter into Egypt that he said unto Sarai his wife behold now I know that thou art a fair woman to look upon therefore it shall come to pass when the Egyptians shall see thee that they shall say this is his wife and they will kill me but they will save thee alive say I pray thee thou art my sister that it may be well with me for thy sake, and my soul shall live because of thee. When Abram was come into Egypt, the Egyptians beheld the woman that she was very fair. princes also of Pharaoh saw her and commended her before Pharaoh. treated Abram well for her sake. And he had sheep and oxen and he asses and men servants and maid servants and she asses and camels. And 
And the Lord plagued Pharaoh and his house with great plagues because of Sarai, Abram's wife. Why saidst thou she is my sister? So I might have taken her to me to wife. Now therefore behold thy wife. Take her and go thy way. Pharaoh commanded his men concerning him, and they sent him away, and his wife, and all that he had. And Abram went up out of Egypt, he and his wife, and all that he had, and Lot with him into the south. And Abram was very rich in cattle, in silver and in gold. And he went on his journeys from the south even to Bethel, unto the place where his tent had been at the beginning, between Bethel and Hai, unto the place of the altar, which he had made there at the first. And there Abram called on the name of the Lord. also which went with Abram had flocks and herds and tents and the land was not able to bear them that they might dwell together for their substance was great so that they could not dwell together and there was a strife between the herdmen of Abram's cattle and the herdmen of Lot's cattle Abram said unto Lot, Let there be no strife, I pray thee, between me and thee, and between my herdmen and thy herdmen, for we be brethren. Is not the whole land before thee? Separate thyself, I pray thee, from me. If thou wilt take the left hand, then I will go to the right. Or if thou depart to the right hand, then I will go to the left. And Lot lifted up his eyes, and beheld all the plain of Jordan, that it was well watered everywhere, before the Lord destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, even as the garden of the Lord, like the land of Egypt, as thou comest unto Zoar. Then Lot chose him all the plain of Jordan, and Lot journeyed east. And they separated themselves, the one from the other. separated from him. Lift up now thine eyes, and look from the place where thou art, northward, and southward, 
and eastward and westward. For all the land which thou seest, to thee will I give it, and to thy seed forever. And I will make thy seed as the dust of the earth, so that if a man can number the dust of the earth, then shall thy seed also be numbered. through the land in the length of it and in the breadth of it, for I will give it unto thee. there went out the king of Sodom, and the king of Gomorrah, and the king of Adma, and the king of Zeboim, and the king of Bela, and they joined battle in the vale of Sidim, four kings with five. And the kings of Sodom and Gomorrah fled, and they took all the goods of Sodom and Gomorrah, and went their way. And they took Lot, Abram's brother's son, who dwelt in Sodom, and his goods, and departed. that had escaped and told Abram the Hebrew. And when Abram heard that his brother was taken captive, he armed his trained servants born in his own house, 318, and pursued them unto Dan. divided himself against them, he and his servants, by night, and smote them, and pursued them unto Hobah, which is on the left hand of Damascus. So brought again his brother Lot and his goods, and the women also, and the people. And 
that Melchizedek, king of Salem, brought forth bread and wine, and he was the priest of the Most High God. And he blessed him and said, Blessed be Abram of the Most High God, possessor of heaven and earth. And blessed be the Most High God, which hath delivered thine enemies into thy hand. And he gave him tithes of all. And the king of Sodom said unto Abram, Give me the persons, and take the goods to thyself. And Abram said to the king of Sodom, I have lift up mine hand unto the Lord, the Most High God, the possessor of heaven and earth, that I will not take from a thread even to a shoe latchet, and that I will not take anything that is thine, lest thou shouldest say, I have made Abram rich. After these things, the word of the Lord came unto Abram in a vision, saying, Fear not, Abram, I am thy shield, and thy exceeding great reward. And Abram said, Adonai Elohim, Lord God, what wilt thou give me, seeing I go childless? And the steward of my house is this Eliezer of Damascus. Behold, to me thou hast given no seed, and lo, one born in my house is mine heir. And behold, the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, This shall not be thine heir. But he that shall come forth out of thine own bowels shall be thine heir. Look now toward heaven, and tell the stars, if thou be able to number them. And he said unto him, So shall thy seed be. And he believed in the Lord, and he counted it to him for righteousness. And he said unto him, I am the Lord that brought thee out of Ur of the Chaldees to give thee this land to inherit it. And he said, Adonai Elohim, Lord God, whereby shall I know that I shall inherit it? And he said unto him, Take me an heifer of three years old, and a she-goat of three years old, and a ram of three years old, and a turtle dove, and a young pigeon. took unto him all these, and divided them in the midst, and laid each piece one against another, but the birds divided he not. And when the fowls came down upon the carcasses, Abram drove them away. sun was going down, a deep sleep fell upon Abram, and lo, an horror of great darkness fell upon him. And he said unto Abram, Know of a surety that thy seed shall be a stranger in a land that is not theirs, and shall serve them, and they shall afflict them four hundred years and also that nation whom they shall serve will I judge, and afterward shall they come out with great substance. And it came to pass that when the sun went down and it was dark, behold, a smoking furnace and a burning lamp that passed between those pieces. And the Lord made a covenant with Abram, saying, Unto thy seed have I given this land, from the river of Egypt unto the great river, the river Euphrates.
Now Sarai, Abram's wife, bare him no children. And she had an handmaid, an Egyptian, whose name was Hagar. And Sarai said unto Abram, Behold now, the Lord hath restrained me from bearing. I pray thee, go in unto my maid. It may be that I may obtain children by her. And Abram hearkened to the voice of Sarai. And Sarai, Abram's wife, took Hagar, her maid, the Egyptian, after Abram had dwelt ten years in the land of Canaan, and gave her to her husband Abram to be his wife. in unto Hagar, and she conceived. And when she saw that she had conceived, her mistress was despised in her eyes. Sarai said unto Abram, My wrong be upon thee. I have given my maid into thy bosom. And when she saw that she had conceived, I was despised in her eyes. The Lord judge between me and thee. But Abram said unto Sarai, Behold, thy maid is in thy hand. Do to her as it pleaseth thee. And when Sarai dealt hardly with her, she fled from her face. And the angel of the Lord found her by the fountain in the way to Shur. And he said, Hagar, whence camest thou, and whither wilt thou go? And she said, I flee from the face of my mistress Sarai. And the angel of the Lord said unto her, Return to thy mistress, and submit thyself under her hands. I will multiply thy seed exceedingly, that it shall not be numbered for multitude. Behold, thou art with child, and shalt bear a son, and shalt call his name Ishmael, because the Lord hath heard thy affliction. And he will be a wild man, his hand will be against every man, and every man's hand against him. <laughs> 